Hello, my lovely anatomist and physiologist, Michelle Glass here, and welcome back to another chapter 19.2 video. We are talking here about the pacemaker system, which remember involves those myocardial conducting cells that we mentioned in the previous video. Remember, we talked about them as having autorhythmicity, which basically means they are going to spontaneously depolarize without the help of the autonomic nervous system or endocrine system. But remember, both of those body systems are having a role here in the regular coordination of your heartbeat. So we're talking here about the pacemaker system or the pacemaker, excuse me, pace setter cells. And we see that there is a very precise set of cells that are these myocardial conducting cells. So we start with what's called the SA node and the SA here stands for sinoatrial node. And we'll see that this is going to be the fastest. So it's gonna have a spontaneous depolarization rate of 80 to 100 beats per minute or BPM. And so we'll see that this is like the first set of cells that are going to spontaneously depolarize. These cells then transmit that signal down what's called the internodal pathway. So this is going to spread the signal. And I'm gonna do a drawing for you here in a little bit. Spread this signal across the atria. So that's meaning both the left atrium and the right atrium. And then it's going to connect. So SA node connects to the internodal pathway. Internodal pathway connects to the AV node. And AV here stands for atrioventricular. And this one is gonna have a depolarization rate of like 40 to 60 beats per minute. So this is significantly slower than the SA node. So we should think of our SA node as like in charge here of our whole pacemaker system. And then we should think about our SA AV node as like second in command. This is really great to have a backup set of cells in case something does happen with that SA node. We can still get those ventricles contracting. We can still get that blood blood being pumped through the body. And what we'll see is there'll be like a pause here. The pause will be about like 100 milliseconds. And so what this means is this is giving time for those atria to finish contracting, pushing all that blood into the ventricle before we start getting that signal transmitted across the ventricles. So this pause will be very important. From the AV node, we see the signal transmitted to the AV bundle. The AV bundle we see is going to separate into left and right bundle branches. So these are going, um, let's say AV bundle goes down to the apex of the heart. And then the AV bundle branches, these are splitting to the left and right ventricles and kind of positioned back up towards the base of the heart. And then we get the Purkinje fibers which are going to really lead to the ventricular contraction. So not only does that 100 millisecond pause there at the AV node help, but also the signal has to travel all the way to the base of the apex before we see it reaching back up through the ventricles before we can get the ventricles to contract.
Now we will see that the left and right bundle branches, they have their own spontaneous depolarization rate of 20 to 30 beats per minute. And then the Purkinje fibers has its own spontaneous depolarization rate of 15 to 20 beats per minute. So what this means is that if the SA node is not in command, then the AV node can take over. If the AV node is not working, we still see that the bundle branches can spontaneously depolarize. And worst case scenario, if they're not kicking in and taking over, then the Purkinje fibers will. Now, in all these cases, we are expecting the autonomic nervous system and the endocrine system to really influence what's going on at the starting point of the SA node. Let's try to draw a picture. So you already have a drawing of the heart that we worked on together. So here is my drawing of the heart where I have like my triangle and I have it divided up into the four uh, chambers. So I have the top two atria and the bottom two ventricles. The atria of course are at the um, base of the heart and then the ventricles are down into the apex area. And what we'll see, let's start with our AV node, and I'm going to just take a highlighter here. So our, um, excuse me, our SA node. So, let's see. All right, so I'm going to start by drawing my SA node in my right atrium, kind of in the top corner there, close to where the superior and inferior vena cava are drawn in. And I'm going to then draw my internodal pathway kind of extending across the right atrium into the left atrium and then close to like my tricuspid valve here at the top of the right ventricle i'm going to draw in my av node and then from there i'm going to have my um, av bundle kind of in this space in between the left and right ventricle splitting into the AV bundle branches. And then from there, we have those Purkinje fibers kind of like making their way from the apex back up toward, back up towards the base. So let me grab a purple pen here and we'll label our SA node. And then we'll label our inter nodal pathway and then we have our AV node and then we have our and, and I've probably drawn this a little bit too long but that's okay we have here our AV bundle and then we have our right and our left bundle branches And then coming off those bundle branches, reaching up towards the base, we have the Purkinje fibers. I have one more video left for our chapter 19.2 section. So stay tuned for a little information on the electrocardiogram. And as always, take care of yourselves and each other.